Hey, what's up everybody? This is Joshua Casper. I'm here with another quick tutorial. It's less of a tutorial and more a demonstration of a future tutorial, and that is sketching film score beats with Ambient Cinematics by Niche Audio. So if you're a fan of my channel and you've been subscribed, you'll know that I'm a big fan of Niche Audio sample packs. And they recently came out with a unique one, which was Ambient Cinematics. It's, as you might suspect, it's really geared toward movies. It doesn't have to be. Obviously, you can make some cinematic, you know, dubstep or something like that. But got some really creepy vibes. And when I was going through the pack, I found that most of them would just be, like, perfect for sketching film score ideas. Not necessarily making full-on film scores with them, maybe elements of them, but not, you know, full-on by themselves or anything. But just sketching out the beats. A beat in a film score or in a film is the pace of the movie where it's cut, where there's tension, where there's a lull, things like that. So I found that just using one of the packs, one of the projects in the pack itself, did a great job at, at doing that for me. And I have it right here. I've got it synced up to the scariest scene ever from the eye. It's not really the scariest scene, but I mean, I just typed that into YouTube to find something that would fit this kind of vibe, a horror, suspense, thriller type thing. And I found this one to work really well. So what I'm going to do is show you how it worked out. Now for this demonstration, I only used sounds and elements from the kit. The kit was kit seven. And I didn't do anything else. I didn't add anything else. I did use a bit of reverb that I added. But other than that, all the sound effects are from the movie clip itself and from the kit. So it's really easy to do it. It just took me maybe about 20 minutes once I found the right kit that worked well with this particular scene. I sketched the whole idea. And what I would do from here is go in and start writing a piece of music because I know the kind of tempo for the piece. It's 120 BPM. It works perfectly. I know where there's suspense, where there's, you know, there needs to be nothing. I know where there needs to be buildups and crescendos. It just was really great to be able to do this easily using the ambient cinematics pack. But let's go ahead and check it out before we uh, talk any more about it.
Okay, so that's what we have here. And remember, these aren't meant to be finals for anything. I mean, I've just got a random kind of that's that's not what uh, it's going to be in the end. This is just a sketch for me and maybe the director and anyone else that I'm working with to kind of see the pace that I have set where things will be coming in and going away. And it's just better to sketch it out like this than it is to just sit down and try to write the entire thing and then have the director be like, no, 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 the crescendo needs to be earlier or later or in this part right here needs to be completely different. Using this pack by Niche Audio Ambient Cinematics, I found it, I mean, it was really easy. I worked on this for maybe 20 minutes. Uh, I didn't put a lot of effort into it and it sounds great. And I think it gets across what my intentions are for the actual production. So this was just kind of a demo and kind of a run through of the process. I'm actually going to do a full tutorial using a different kit and a different movie clip from start to finish. I know I kind of, you know, this is already done and I, you didn't learn too much, but the next tutorial, if you're interested, will be start to finish working on a different clip with a different kit from the pack itself. But if you're if you want to check out the pack, there's a link in the description below. I highly suggest it. Anyway, I hope you learned something. We'll see you next time.